Hello there everybody, hope you're doing well. And today I'm going to show you how to install Half-Life 2 Episode 1 and Episode 2. So, Episode 1, and here we have Episode 2, and I'm going to show you how to install both of them. So the first thing is I'm just going to hide my Steam window, and I have this guide linked in the description as usual, which has all the commands and steps. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is install Homebrew. So if you already have it, you don't really need to do this. But just copy this command, paste it in here, put in your password, hit enter, and Homebrew will install. Give it a few seconds. Now we're going to install the Xcode command line tools. Once again, if you already have them installed, you don't need to do this. But you just put it in, so the second command here, I'll copy it, put this in, and it says they're already installed, but you guys might not already have them installed, but just put this command in your terminal. Now the next thing we're going to do is install all the packages that we need. So I'm going to copy this third one, paste it in here. This is going to install all our packages and it's going to make sure that Homebrew is working well. Now I'm about to get a lot of warnings because I already have all the packages installed, but you guys might not, so it's alright. Now we're going to copy this fourth one. Now this is going to clone the Source Engine repository. Now I already have it cloned, so all I need to do is cd into this directory, like go inside of it. But you guys might have to clone the entire thing if you don't already have it. Now we're going to configure the build. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this fifth command. Paste it in here. And hopefully everything will work well for you guys. Yep, there you go. Now this command sometimes brings up some issues. So just let me know in the comments if you have issues with this command. Now we actually have to build all the game files. So just copy this paste it in here and this will probably take around five to ten minutes depending on f how fast your computer is so just wait that long and then you should be good okay guys so now the build is done now what I'm gonna do is copy this seventh command so what this command is gonna do is it's gonna move all those files we just made into a certain directory of our choice so you guys can edit this but I have a Half-Life 2 episode 1 slash 2 directory set up I'll just plop this in boom there we go now here's what we're gonna do we have all the files ready so we can exit out of the terminal and I'm gonna open up a finder window and this can go on my left side and then I'm going to have my Steam window open and I'm going to go to episode 1, click manage, and then browse the local files. Okay, so here I have it. So here's the Steam files and then I'm going to go to the path of the files I just built. So I had it in documents, gaming, Half-Life 2. And now in here, I have all my files. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna, here's, here's my Steam stuff, right? I'm gonna take the bin file out of here. So I'm gonna delete this. I'm gonna get the episodic file, open this up, and I'm gonna open up the other episodic one. Now. I'm going to delete the steam bin folder. So just delete that and then drag in my new bin folder. And then I'm also going to drag in the other bin folder from before. So now I can just drag this in here. And then I'm going to delete hl2 underscore oxx. I'm going to rename this guy after I drag it in to hl2 underscore osx done now everything 
should work. So if I go play now on Half-Life 2 Episode 1 in Steam, and I will wait for it to open now. Here we go, new window opening. It is loading. And there you have it, Half-Life 2 Episode 1. Now I can change the resolution, because right now, like 960 by 540, very low. I'm just gonna make it 1440p. And here we have it. This is very high resolution. As you can see in the top here, I'm getting about 115 FPS consistently on just this loading screen. So very good frames already. And I can start a new game right now. Wait for it to load up. And here we go. Now I have Half-Life 2 Episode 1 running completely natively on my Mac. So I haven't even finished the first Half-Life yet, so I'm going to quit this. Now that was just Episode 1 though, so I'm going to show you Episode 2 quickly. Episode 2 is very, very similar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run this command again. So I just did the up arrow key to go to my previous command and I ran it again. And now what this did is it put is it put all the files back here. Now what I can do is open up the EP2 and I'm just going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to take this episodic, drag in the bin folder. Done. Okay, now I could re replace these bin folders, but I don't think I need to because they should all have the same files in them right now. So I don't think that's necessary. But everything here is looking good. I don't need to replace this either because this is just the same one as before. But now if I try to go into Steam again, I go to episode 2 and I click play. As you can see, new windows opening up. It's loading. And here we are, Half-Life 2, Episode 2, running natively once again. I can scale up the resolution and this looks very, very nice. So that's all you have to do, guys. Hope you have a good time playing these Half-Life games. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. Thank you. Goodbye.